V rámci projektu Společně k inkluzivnímu vzdělávání jsme se zástupci českých základních škol navštívili integrovanou sekundární školu Heinz Brand Schule. Tato škola je výjimečná v tom, že společně vzdělává žáky maturitních i nematuritních oborů. Ve videu vám přinášíme rozhovor s učitelkou Němčiny jako druhého jazyka, která působí ve Willkommen kláse pro nově příchozí žáky. So what did you find effective to support students at secondary school? Um, to integrate them um, in a social level and mm -hmm. also to support uh, children mm -hmm. with different uh, needs of mm -hmm. support? Um, first, we'd like to be a school where for everyone, for every student, no matter uh, what special needs uh, she or he has, uh, no matter if she comes uh, or he comes from another country and has another uh, language as the first one. and. Um, Um, in the school lessons, we try to deal with it uh, by having a huge range of uh, possibilities uh, to to differentiate. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, we've got three levels. Uh, the students can work on. It's the E level, the highest level. It's the G level. It's the middle level, and it's the A level for uh, students with special needs. And um, they work together in very small groups. These groups are called Lernbüros. The Lernbüros. Uh, consists of uh, students from two classes and in this group they have mathematics, they have German, they have good English and um, they've got a, a competence raster we call it. Um, it's a, a schedule where there are exercises they have to do uh, concerning one theme and they do it in their speed and they choose which exercise they want to do mm -hmm. now. They work all together on one theme but on different levels mm -hmm. and this is cool because uh, No one gets the feeling I'm I'm not good enough, and no one gets the feeling oh I'm bored because I, I this is too easy for me. Everyone mm -hmm. can work just uh, like he or she is able to and mm -hmm. likes to. And the groups are of 18 students or 18, 16 or 18, 18 students. students. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are smaller than regular classes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you keep this uh, um, bureaus in a major subject, so it's a German, mathematics, and English. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. This is uh, mm -hmm. most important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But we we different uh, dif mm -hmm. differentiate. <laughs> we differentiate as well in other subjects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mm -hmm. uh, the Lernbüros mm -hmm. are the most important mm -hmm. one, the main subjects. Yeah. And how do you success in? Um, building up social competencies mm -hmm. of students, especially those who are coming uh, um, from different countries, mm -hmm. refugees. Mm -hmm. what, what did you find successful? Mm -hmm. um, we've got several projects in cooperation with the social workers. Um, uh, for example, the Tandem project. Uh, this is a partnership between uh, students uh, who come from Germany and students who come from foreign countries. Um, Of course, to improve uh, the German language for the students coming from foreign countries, but uh, in the mm -hmm. first way, we want to create situations where they feel safe, where they feel good, where they get in contact with, with each other. Um, where the, yeah, mm -hmm. this is uh, the main goal, for mm -hmm. example, and uh, the social workers at all, they, they work together with the students. The students can, can go there if they've got any problems at home or, they, or if they have problems with the teacher or if they have problems with each other and they help them to solve mm -hmm. the problems. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is one example, mm -hmm. yeah. And how do you plan um, the work uh, um, uh, with the teacher team and others? Okay. Because mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you have a very mm -hmm. good strategy uh, mm -hmm. related to the grades, so can you please mm -hmm. describe that? Okay. Um, <laughs> We've got um, all the teachers are working together in teams um, for each grade, the seventh grade, the eighth grade, the ninth grade, the tenth grade, uh, there's one team and in this team there are all the teachers working in this grade, uh, there's a social worker and uh, there's a specialist for uh, students with special needs. So everyone knows, every student um, We meet uh, once a week, so we can talk every week about students who need our help or about projects we want to do. And we've got uh, all the know knowledge from the specialists we need to solve problems or to develop new ideas. Mm -hmm. those, it's a short way to, to talk about everything. I think this is great for the social aspect, for the didact didactic aspect, and 
for our teachers as well. We are not alone if we have got any problems. So if we have got problems in our lessons or if we have got problems with uh, students who are not that easy, um, we can support each other. Mm. And it's not a failure if we have these problems. Um, but I think it's our strength here at school that we support each mm. other and uh, talk about everything. Okay, so mm -hmm. my last question would be to this uh, unique project that mm -hmm. um, the, um, focused on the um, challenges and mm -hmm. uh, uh, development of uh, the complex uh, skills of uh, students. So can mm -hmm. you please mm -hmm. introduce uh, your challenge project? Okay, we've got challenges. Uh, they take part um, just uh, before the holiday in summer and um, the students have to apply for these challenges and they have to earn, I think, half the money they need for the challenges. Um, so they really have to want to do these challenges. It's not like, oh, perhaps I like to. No, they have to really want to do this. And um, the challenges are, for example, um, walking across the Alps or um, um, going by longboard to the sea. So um, it's not a normal class trip, but it's something where you have to uh, auf Deutsch sagt man größer werden als man ist. Uh, man have to uh, grow oh, bigger yeah. than you are. Mm -hmm. um, and often it's hard. For example, last year my schoolmaster went with a group of uh, students the Jakobsweg and it was quite hard. It was, it was hot, 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 hot. And it was a hard way and the group was, oh, we cannot go on. But at the end, they went on, of course, and it was a great social experience to support each other, to say, hey, We'll get it, and um, I think it was a great experience for everyone. Yeah, and this is the challenge. Yeah, <laughs> and you also have the practice that even the younger students go to kindergartens mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. or homes for elderly yeah. people. So yeah. do you do you see profit from all those? Yes, of course. Uh, this is service learning. They go for three 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 uh, hours per week. Uh, um, in the seventh grade, they go to. Uh, social company to kindergarten or whatever where they uh, help people and it's uh, one of the first experience they have concerning um, uh, Berufsbildung, um, vocational, education. vocational education yeah mm -hmm. and um, I think it's very important to start early mm -hmm. yeah? um, of course it's great uh, if the students are able to do their Abitur and to go to the university, but we have a great system, uh, die duale Ausbildung in Germany. Um, and yeah, it's a great opportunity um, and to bring that in mind, mm -hmm. yeah, to bring that in mind for the students, but as well for the parents is very important mm -hmm. because not everyone uh, is going to be happy at university mm -hmm. or is going to be happy making his or her Abitur. Mm -hmm. So it's important to bring in mind that uh, the MSR, uh, the, the, um, uh, the exam you do in the 10th class is, and then after this exam go to, uh, or make Ausbildung, duale Ausbildung, um, is a great opportunity um, to get happy in your life, <laughs> to earn good money and um, yeah. yeah.